page two of section three of chapter seven, computing monthly payments. A simple interest loan is typically paid off in monthly installments or monthly payments. Installments is another word for payments. To compute monthly payments, first find the interest, then the future value. Then divide A or future value by the number of months in the loan. So for example, uh, Admiral Chauffeur Services borrowed $600 at 9% simple interest for a year and a half uh, for repairs. Uh, for limousine, find the monthly payments. Simple interest formula, I equals PRT, principal amount borrowed, rate as a decimal, time in years. Apparently that comes to 181. Um, for the future value, just add that to the principal amount. I plus P is the formula for that. Plus, remember these are multiplications, these are addition to get your future balance after one and a half years. Um, and then to find your monthly payments, we're going to convert years to months. Okay, so that's 12 plus half. Um, Half of a year is six months. That gives you 18 months. Divide that by 18 and you will get your monthly payment. Okay. Um, computing the missing. So if you have I equals PRT or you have A equals P plus I, any one of these variables could be missing. So you should be able to find anything that's missing. Okay, not just the end amount. So find the principal on a savings account that paid this much in simple interest. In simple interest. Yeah. Oops. That's my alarm. I have another class <laughs> coming soon. Let me finish this. Um, interest, your rate is 6%. Your time is over three years. Find P. So I equals P R T. And what is missing is the principal. So we're leaving that variable here, substituting the other ones. And then how do you get your P alone. Um, step one would be to multiply these two together and you're going to get 0 0.18. So you want to divide both sides by that. I don't know if you can read that. There we go. 7650 divided by 0.18. Apparently that is 425. Let me know if any of these are wrong. That's the principal that was put in the account that paid this much interest at this rate in this many years. Okay. This one, it says if you invest, here's your principal for 30 months. Um, 30 months needs to be converted to how many years? Um, you can divide by 12 if you want. Think about it. 36 would be three years. Um, if you t do 12 into 30, you get two years, which is 24. <clears throat> With six left over, come down, you get 0. 0.5. That's minus 60 is zero, so 2.5 years. Um, you will get 30 divided by two. You will get a decimal 2.5. So you feel free to just divide by 12 and use whatever decimal you get. Um, let's see, receives a thousand dollars in interest. So just put that interest right in here, principal time. And we're looking for the, what rate they got. That's a common thing to do. So how do we do this? We multiply these two things together. Just 
checking my answer here times 2.5 is 20,000 R 1000 divide both sides by what you're trying to get R alone with And let's see. Sorry. I know it says it there. I'm just 0 0.05. That makes sense. That's the decimal times 100 will give you a rate of 5%. Okay. Number five, <clears throat> pawn shop. So I gave you one example of each thing that's missing. So guitar costing this at simple interest. Interest will be that. So that's your I. There's your principal. There's your rate. What's the, what's the term and what's the monthly payments? So substitute in the I, the P, the R multiply first you're going to get 30 divide both sides by 30 you're going to get five years and at five years times 12 will give you 60 months to pay it off okay so if the interest was 150 we can add that to the cost to get the total cost of the financed guitar Okay, and if you divide it by 60, you'll get the number of payments per month for five years. Okay, those are the examples. Um, yeah, we're going to do something else next.